Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what comes to mind when your special person, your romantic interest, thinks of you. So we want to see, uh, you know, what is it that calls to mind here when they hear the mention of your name or when they think about you? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. So this reading here is intended for all water signs. That's you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And of course, to those of you that may be cross-watching. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and we'll begin. Five of Swords here. Yeah. The Hermit. The Three of Swords. Okay. For some of you. Okay, I'll take the Chariot. For some of you, this is uh, an ex or a past person, isn't it? you're thinking of the page of wands and the ace of swords okay so i can definitely pick up some pain here in the energies okay maybe this is someone whom you were connected with but right now there's simply a disconnection between the two of you a separation now this is someone whom i feel like either you've ended up hurting this person or this is someone who has hurt you in the past okay or maybe this person is hurt by the way things here unfolded between the two of you because I can see that there is some pain here maybe they feel really betrayed here by their own actions here their own intentions and their words here okay I can see I can see that there is pain though and I can see that this is someone who thinks about you a lot guys i feel like this is someone who has a lot of time for you this is someone who is still very invested in you if especially so if they are a past energy for instance you didn't necessarily have to have had a relationship with this person but i can see that for some of you maybe it's a connection here that was cut very quickly it was um unfortunately it was very short-lived and you guys sort of robbed each other of the opportunity to get to know one another better so maybe that's where the pain here is coming from but i can still see that this this person is someone who wishes they hadn't cut ties with you this is someone who wishes that they hadn't did they kind of not take things seriously they wish that they had been a little bit more attentive here they wish they had been a little bit more committed here and just taking things a little bit more serious here there was i feel like for some of you now the reason why i've mentioned that this connection was very short-lived or fleeting the reason why is i feel like maybe your person is still connected to the ex okay especially with the three of swords um and this person feels like they sort of pulled away or they cut ties with you because Although they thought that you were someone extremely compatible and someone very attractive here, they just weren't ready. And deep down inside, even though they even put themselves out there, the two of you met and connected, as time went on, I feel like this person, it really became apparent that just they weren't that ready to sort of explore the connection or open themselves up to dating with even getting to know someone else here. So... There's definitely an energy of hurt, an energy of pain. Swords are, of course, are a weapon. They can be a destructive energy. So when they think of you, they think about the opportunity they missed, the opportunity that they could have had. To them, you were the one that they could have had or the one that got away. The one that they, if they had the chance to do it all over again, they would do differently, okay? And that, that unfortunately holds a lot of weight, guys, a lot of pain as well. Now, with your person's energy, I feel like they do they do want communication. And I feel like for a lot of you watching and listening to this, there will be communication in the future. 
if there is no communication right now at this particular point in time, it's because for one reason or perhaps even several, it's just not your timing right now, okay? Now, you have to bear in mind that timing plays a very big role in two souls coming together here and exploring the, you know, the connection here, the depths of a connection. And right now, for whatever reason, it's not your time. Perhaps you have to work on... You yourselves like have to work on your pain or just yourselves individually. Perhaps that's why things never truly manifested for you. Perhaps this person has to, you know, because um, with the hermit here, he is a man of wisdom, but he's also a man of solitude. And this path is a path he must walk alone. And for a lot of you, I feel like the reason why you aren't in a relationship or things are not where you want to be is because the path that you're currently walking on is one in which you must embark on your own here. But I do feel like there will be future um, there will be future communication between the two of you. And I feel like this person's energy feels very withdrawn and very reserved. But they also think the same of you. They think you are someone who's a little bit a little bit colder, a little bit distant, and if you see how if you're not reaching out, then they are under the impression that you don't necessarily want to communicate here. But then again, I feel like even if you do reach out, guys, it's important to know that I don't know that you would get a lot of response at this particular point in time. I don't know that your person will be very responsive here, purely because I feel like they've sort of they've gone into the hermit mode. Think of like a little crab and who curls up and runs back into his home, his little shell. It's comfortable there, it's familiar, it feels safe. You know, when your person's energy feels a little bit, how do I say this? When they feel a little bit more clarity, mental and emotional, and when they feel a little bit more ready, they will come out, okay, and play with the rest of the world. They will step out of their little crab shell, which is so safe and it keeps them so protected here and warm. And they will sort of, you know, put themselves back out there again. And that is when you're likely to hear from them. Now, because swords are very quick here in terms of movement, I do feel like there will be either a lot of communication coming in. I feel like your person's going to be a lot more open here. Or either that, or I feel like communication is going to happen sooner than you anticipate. Um, but I feel like the two of you are sort of very disconnected. But it feels like there's something much more than that at play here. And I feel like... The universe is sort of, see, when the universe wants two people to be together, it conspires um, to make that happen, okay? It will do everything in its power to bring those souls back together, even if those souls have um, separated here. So trust that the reason why there's this separation or distance between the two of you is that because the universe, he wants to, it wants you to walk this path alone because something here is being illuminated to you here. But I do feel like there will be movement in the future. And I do feel like, especially for those of you who are going through some sort of distance or some turbulency right now, I do feel like things are going to pick up and get better. But for the time being, I feel like the path that you're on, you must walk alone. And then when you're each at a better place here, you will join back up together here with the chariot. And I feel like, my goodness, do you have a romantic adventure ahead of you? Okay, But just because you don't see it now, doesn't mean that it's not coming for you. So... Trust that amazing things are happening for you and be ready to receive those blessings when that opportunity finally arrives, okay? Um, but otherwise, guys, these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. I will be sharing a few more tarot love messages, guys, so stay tuned. For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to connect. Bye for now.